And speaking of buying things digitally, the Google Stadia game streaming platform is launching in November and more details are coming out. Uh, this week we learned via Eurogamer that the service will charge full price for the games that you stream on the Google Stadia network. So you have to buy the games from Google. It'll live in your Google Stadia library and you can then stream it to whatever you got after purchasing the game. And if you want their high-end 4K streams, you've got to pay a subscription fee on top of that. Uh, so a lot of folks were surprised by that news. I wasn't just because I think the games will cost the same on any platform. So why should Google Stadia be any different? Although hopefully they have a good amount of free titles available for the subscription payers. Uh, you can play the game that you paid for for free after you bought it, of course, uh, provided you are okay with a 1080p only stream, which for many folks with limited connections might be the best they'll get. I do kind of like the approach that Google's taking with this, at least insofar as how the controllers work, because the controllers connect directly to the Stadia service over Wi-Fi as opposed to going through your Chromecast or your uh, Android box or something like that. So kind of a neat way of approaching the problem technically, although the market for it remains to be seen. My prediction, though, still remains that I think if there will be a winner of PC uh, game streaming over the internet, it will be the NVIDIA GeForce Now service, which we talked about in a video a few months ago. And what I like about what NVIDIA is doing is that they've taken the whole buying the game out of the equation. Uh, you can stream your games from Steam and uh, to some degree from Epic, and I'm guessing what'll probably happen is they'll let you just stream it from anywhere, uh, and you can pay them the, the fee to just use the service to be able to do that streaming. I think that's probably what um, is going to be, I think, the winning model here, just because it makes a lot of sense to not have to rebuy games and choose the platform that you want to buy them on. But we'll see. There's a lot going to happen with streaming in the next couple of months, and there's going to be a lot of competition for what some of these companies think might be a very big market, but a lot of gamers don't really think there is one at all. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters including Gold Level supporters, The Four Guys with Quarters podcast, Tom Albrecht, Brian Parker, and Kalyan Kumar. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more. And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.